Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the most important support and resistance levels here on the Bitcoin chart after that drop down that we have seen last night and I will also explain how this coincides with my targets and the way I am trading this. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy and let's start off by reviewing again this beautiful butterfly harmonic pattern uh, which I've been going through for the last few days. Um, obviously this target, okay, the target for this, okay, of the potential turnaround so this is actually a bullish butterfly, uh, would be looking for this region around 9,100, okay? So lower 9,000s, 9,085 to 9,100 would be a potential lower side target, okay? We are currently forming a high, higher low, higher high. Uh, so it's potentially that we're finding support. Well, I'll go through what we're finding support of in a minute. But the uh, the lookout for this target for the uh, butterfly harmonic would be the lower 9,000s, Okay. With that in mind, with that in mind that that's the target, let's just look at the daily chart a second and just look at a plain chart and say this 9000 level has already been tested once and twice. So this would be the third test on the level. What happens the more that you test a support, the more that you test a support, the weaker it gets. And how have we just seen a classic example of that, uh, you know, classical technical analysis right there? It was with this level at 10,025, wasn't it? As you all know, that was our daily support. And we saw 14 days worth of support. Okay, bounces, 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 bounces. Of 14 days, you eventually exhaust that support. There was too much sellers, not enough buyers, and eventually you break through it. Okay, there, you know, the buying pressure runs out and you just you just fall through. Okay, so that's what happened here. Uh, obviously, the more time the support got tested the weaker it got and you go through so just keep in mind obviously this was 14 14 days worth of you know continuous pressure and this is just going to be the third touch so uh, it's just something to keep in mind though, okay? So you would want to see like a bounce like this from the pattern, okay? Uh, but you know, it could very well be that it in fact is a lot weaker because it's already being tested, okay? It's not a fresh level, okay? So that's just something to bear in mind. Obviously, if you close below this and you actually lose that support and, and you confirm it as resistance, then that's when you're looking down to 8.8, .8, you know, uh, downwards, okay? And that will be for another video if we lose these levels, okay? Lowest target obviously sat down there around the, the lowest 7Ks, but I'll cover that in a new video if we even close below this level, okay? So what can we say on the intermediate term, the, the, the low time frame relevant for the next few days, okay? What are we bouncing from here? We are bouncing from the middle of our parallel channel support, and this has just been really, really nice, okay? What we can say is we went high to low to high to low to high, midpoint, partial rise, okay, partial rise, midpoint, a lower high, midpoint again. So this is just like a really nice parallel channel, isn't it? Really, really perfect. We can also see the middle of the parallel channel here acting as resistance. So with that in mind, this is a really, um, you know, we are getting a little bit of a bounce, strong, that's uh, going to be not quite the word for it right here. This is not a strong bounce at the moment, okay? Let's say when we could consider it an actual nice bounce, okay? All we've done so far today obviously uh, from our low, we've come up and we've tested the 236 Fibonacci. We saw a rejection. We did see a, you know, about $100 rejection here. Okay. Um, but price is going high, low, higher, high, potentially higher, low, and coming up for another higher, higher. I'd say the most important resistance for me is this 382 sat at 9,689 on the very short term. Okay. Very short term. That would be a, you know, a critical resistance. In the overall grand scheme of things, my number one most important resistance on this chart right now is 10,319 why it's our next monthly resistance it's also where the breakdown started okay so price should have no reason to come back up here if this is a real breakdown that started okay if it's a good good way of telling it's a, if it's a fake out is if price reclaims 10319 okay that would be a very big deviation uh, but, you know, <laughs> the signs are not there that we're coming up to this level at the moment, okay? We have to just take it one step at a time. Uh, and at the moment, we, we, we can't even break through the 236 Fib level, which is obviously very weak, okay? Uh, so just bear that in mind. Um, for me, the invalidation of a short is 10,319, which is a fairly wide gap from here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in a short right now where it's safely in, in good profit. So I've got no reason to worry. Uh, and, you know, I've trailed stops, okay? So on the very short term, we're looking at 382 resistance level, okay? Then obviously your 618 sitting at around 10K, okay? So 10K psychological monthly 10,319, okay? But on the short term, it looks as if, uh, you know, Obviously, we had a little spike in volume earlier, so a little bit of a spike in volume here, but nothing major. There's been no major buys come in here, so we could. That's one argument that no major buys coming in. The RSI is obviously uh, just bouncing up from oversold conditions, so it's just a, a little bounce coming from oversold. Uh, nothing has changed, you know, any major trend yet. We still haven't even reclaimed the 382. So until that happens, 
you know, one has to look at this bearishly, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, if you start coming down to major targets, then one has to, you know, reassess the situation at the target. Is there a bounce occurring or have you just broken through target and heading downwards? <laughs> um, so, yeah, on the medium term, I'd say keep your eye on the 382. Keep your eye on the uh, exponential moving averages, especially on the four hour, one hour. Okay, daily is going to be uh, very uh, away from here. And a really, really important resistance that, um, you know, 10,319. And all the support at the moment has to be looked at as, for me, the target is 9,085. But around this 9,000 level, it is, it's support until it's not. Okay, so you have to view this as support until it's broken. You do have to say that that is the support at the moment. Okay, so do not forget about that level. Uh, and obviously what we can say at the moment is uh, we are bouncing off the middle of this lovely parallel channel, okay? Um, so yeah, obviously this was a, if, if you don't get the reference here, by the way, Butterfree is a Pokemon. This was probably a little bit of a nerdy joke, <laughs> but this was like saying I've unleashed the Butterfree trade. Go Butterfree. And uh, obviously this is trading out pretty nicely so far. Coming down, you know, we're, you know. I've taken profits because it's very greedy not to take profits when you're so close to target. So um, I have taken them, but nevertheless, uh, Butterfree is going to, come into a B drill very shortly if this if this plays out okay <laughs> that's too nerdy for so many people i'm sure um but maybe you get that reference but yeah in the short term basically yeah look at that 382 resistance down to 9100 support and we could very easily range here for the next few days before we get a, another major move okay obviously litecoin was the leading indicator the litecoin drop uh, really big drop happened uh, about 10 minutes before the Bitcoin drop. Okay, so this major move down here on Litecoin happened 10 minutes before Bitcoin. So if you were very alert, you could have market sold, um, you know, a a around 10,100. You could have had ent entered a short at 10,100 uh, because Litecoin, that leading indicator again, I've mentioned it so many times of it, a leading indicator. Litecoin dropped, EOS dropped, Ethereum dropped, they all dropped. And then 10 minutes later, five, 10 minutes later, Bitcoin followed. Okay. So there was that opportunity to get in there if you were not already in a short. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, the, the really critical levels that I'm looking at. Obviously I am in a short at the moment, taking profits, trailed stops. Um, so I will see over the next few hours, whether the 382 is reclaimed or not, but at the moment that has to be viewed as resistance again till it's not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. We'll uh, quickly give the announcement again that, um, the spots of the group are now open. Uh, so if you are interested in coming and joining us uh, today, yesterday during our my live stream, the, this is when the price was going mental. So I had to like do some live trading, but uh, that was pretty insane. Um, but yeah, the, the spots are open for the uh, contenders and the champions. So if you're up for, for coming over, then it's just chartchampions.com. And you can obviously now sign up. Uh, the spaces are temporarily reopened again. So uh, just to let you know. And if you do decide to come join us, uh, yeah, I can come over and you can say hello in the in the group chat and I'll, and I'll help you out over there. And just to let you know that now there is over 50 hours of educational content on the website. So this is just like screech. Yeah, I would say it's like really good value. There's over 50 hours now of educational videos for you to go through. And this is going to. Oh, yeah, I, I don't want to like say it myself. I'd prefer you to just go through and see what other people have said about it. Uh, you know, you can look at the reviews, obviously, from what people have wrote. Um, some of the reviews here, like be you know, read through them and make your own form decision. But just to let you know, yeah, the group is open. There's a lot of content. And uh, yeah, these, the spaces are temporarily open if you want to take advantage of the opportunity. Uh, so yeah, hope that you've enjoyed this video. Those are my important levels. And uh, if you do decide to join, I will see you over in the in the chat. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody. Cheers. And I will catch you around. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>